This is Jess, Wes and our daughter Izzy. After selling our house and most of our possessions at the end of 2021, we've packed up our Van Bevan to tour Australia. We are Life is Vanderful. After a relaxing long weekend with our friends Sheldon and Sarah in Wongan Hills, which is just north of Perth, we've made our way south through Perth into a town called Donnybrook and we dropped in last night at Thompson Brook Wines. Um, so it's a little family owned estate by a lovely couple called Pam and Terry. Um, we arrived so late last night we couldn't try the wines here but they're letting us stay for two nights completely free, um, no obligation to buy, but we are going to check out their wine this afternoon. Can't wait to try it, and I'm sure we'll walk away with a bottle or two. We've stopped at Gnomeville on our way to Collie. Um, so Collie is a little district which has a bit of an art tour mm -hmm. and Gnomeville is um, pretty self-explanatory. It's a little park on the side of the road, just absolutely covered in gnomes. Um, and then we're gonna go check out the local town that we're staying in, Donnybrook, which looks like a really cute place to yeah, go grab a coffee and look at the shops and stuff. So we're at Wellington Dam and Wellington Dam Wall and this mural behind me is apparently Australia's largest mural. Just doing some wine tasting. <laughs> what? what did you do? Red and now it's time for bed. <laughs> we actually bought a port and now it's time to build a little fort. So we're at Bustleton Jetty today. The jetty is 1.8 kilometres long and you can catch a train out to the end and there's an underwater observatory at the other end. Uh, the train runs every hour and it takes about 40 minutes to get there and you can come back. You can also walk 
Um, so we're going to take the train because we've got Izzy. We've actually been here um, two and a half years ago and it's, it's a great place. We're, we're here in summer, it's a little bit overcast today, but it's not raining, so that's, that's the main thing. Um, so first we're going to eat. Is it just me? Does it feel like that fire door would just step straight outside into the water? The walls of this observatory are 30 centimeters thick and to actually place this here they sunk the whole thing. Uh, they gutted the inside, sunk this uh, structure to get it to the bottom, then pumped all the water out and then installed all the stairs and everything you see inside today. So we've come back to Bustledon Jetty. Uh, yesterday we left quite abruptly because um, Izzy had a bit of an accident at the end of the pier, bumped her head, not listening to mum and dad, uh, not holding on when, they, when she should. Um, so we've, we've come back just to have a bit more of a look around um, and get some, some pictures and shots of the jetty. Um, and one of the things we realised we didn't mention was the fact that it's yeah, 1.8 kilometres long, but the reason it's so long is that um, it's really shallow, the bay is very shallow, so it's only nine metres deep at the end of the pier. Um, so that's why it's so long, so with the boats coming in, um, so they could actually dock, uh, need to be that far out from the shore, because it's a very shallow bay. It's called Geography Bay. Um, and the pier itself kept on getting longer and longer over time. There's a big timber industry around this area back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, and as the ships got bigger at, uh, across that time, um, they also got deeper, so the pier needed to be longer and longer um, to accommodate um, all the boats coming in. So that's, that's how it arrived at its current 1.8 metre length. 1.8 metres, what am I talking about? 1.8 kilometres. Wouldn't be much of a pier if it was only 1.8 metres, would it?
So when we went to Bustleton Jetty yesterday, we got given uh, $20 worth of vouchers to spend at this place called Origin Market in uh, Bustleton. And it's been only been open for the last six months. And it's a big indoor market. Um, it has a selection of things like gin tastings, wine tastings, a little bakery, uh, cooking demonstrations. There's even um, jewelry making classes and like a little reading nook. Um, yeah, there's so much to do. It's a really great place to come. So if you're in the area, definitely recommend dropping by. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter about the weather. And there's even a little children's playground and face painting, lots of stuff for kids to do too. come to a lighthouse and apparently it's International Lighthouse Day so good timing. Hey, is this actually going to communicate with someone? Like what if I turned the SLS out by mistake? <laughs> We've written T-N-T-T-T <laughs> Izzy has this fascination of knocking at every lighthouse door we go to and the tradition continues. Whale. Yeah, it's hard to see if there's a whale out there. Huh? So we're at Nilgi Caves, it's pronounced Nilgi. And we're heading. Oh, we're checking out for bears. Izzy yeah. likes finding bears, bears in caves. So. And we're heading 37 meters below surface, is the deepest part of the cave. And so far, we haven't hit the bottom. We keep on going all the way down. This was apparently the first tourist attraction in Western Australia um, in the early 1900s and operated a tour company here. Um, and it was also really popular with honeymooners of the time. So they'd come here from Perth, train to Bustleton, then horse and cart out here. And it was a very formal affair back in the day. So they'd come in here, men were in their three-piece suits and the women in their, their big corsets and dresses and there's no electricity back then, so there's a lot of kerosene lamps and there's many a tale apparently about the women's dresses catching on fire whilst down here, so that, that doesn't sound like fun. This is the tunnel that we're about to go through 
in the cave. Let's hopefully we make out the other end. It's like, what a little huh? adventurer. That's the way, you're almost a dad. I can hear you, I can't see you yet, but I can hear you. Almost, I can hear you, dad. There's a going to my You literally have to be on your bum <laughs> to get through the section. Fresh air and daylight. Last one, yay! We are at Taunton Farms Day and it's feeding time with the animals. Usually that means Isabel at five o'clock, but this time it's sheep and cows. So. Good morning, we arrived in Margaret River yesterday and we checked in at a really great campground um, called Taunton Farm. So you can feed the animals here at five o'clock every day. It's got a really nice country vibe about mm. it. It's one of the coolest ones we've been to, I think. Yeah, yeah. really lovely. And um, now we've woken up this morning and of course, being in Margaret River, um, we got this list from reception about all the best playgrounds. So we're gonna go do a tour of Margaret River playgrounds today. Yeah. Hopefully there's a winery or two attached for the adults, so fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah fingers crossed. <laughs> um, also, we're going to check out some CHOC shops. I can't really say that word in full right now <laughs> because someone's behind us. Um, so I think we're going to start the day with one of those and then, yeah, check out some wineries and see where we go from there. Yeah, it's a really good area for wine, all types of food, cheese, distillery, chocolate. Like yeah. Gin, Gin, beer, that, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, our type of playground. Good times. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is the answer of the question is, what did Izzy throw on the floor? Hot chocolates there are amazing. Izzy throwing her one on the floor, not so amazing. This is a Cheeky Monkey at Cheeky Monkey Brewing Company. This is so many wineries and in this case a brewery is set up for kids in the area which is perfect for us. Playgrounds and things. And here's a Cheeky Monkey swinging in the tree. Up, up, up 
in a painted cup I will pour my love from a cloud above So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams so after a day of chocolate tasting at Gabrielle's Chocolate and going to the Maze Place at Yalingup, I think you say, um, and burgers and beer at Cheeky Monkey Brewery, we are topping off the day with some wine tasting at Vassa Felix, which is Margaret River Region's first winery and vineyard. In a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet, like a honeybee, can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, I ride in the sky like a firefly. Mm, like a firefly. I believe. So continuing our tour of all the food and wine in the Margaret River area, we've come to the Margaret River Dairy Company. <laughs> there we go, cow. <laughs> Thought it appropriate that Wes poses for this photo because um, Jess pulls all the strings. That's right. <laughs> so we're at Wow Illusions, another puzzle place here in Margaret River. You can see the ball roll. Up the hill. I see boobies. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this many easies. <laughs> that sounds like a tough day of parenting. Another day, another winery, and this time we're at Aravena Estate. We actually came here two and a half years ago, and we really enjoyed it. Wait. Jess was pregnant yeah. at the time, so she couldn't actually have any wine, but I, I enjoyed it anyway. So yeah, bring bring her back, and this time with Izzy, um, and we'll have some, some this wine. This time I get to drink it, yay! yay. <laughs> it's part of our playground tour of the Margaret River and this one just happens to have a winery attached so we're really lucky so we've been trying to find all the playgrounds that have wineries attached and this is one of them As you can see, this playground has a lovely winery attached to it. I highly recommend playground winery combo. So we just thought we'd do a little recap of our time in Margaret River because we've realised throughout the video we haven't really given an indication to prices and um, just our reviews on everything in general. So starting with Bustleton Jetty, um, 
Last time we walked that, this time we opted to take the train. So there's two different prices. Just to walk out there is only $4. Um, but to catch the train, along with doing the observatory, underwater observatory, is $30... $37 for adults, yeah. Yeah, each. per person. Per <laughs> so person, yeah. It's quite expensive, but... It's a bit XE, yeah. We wanted to give Izzy that experience of going in the underwater observatory and going on the train. It's a long way to walk with a, a toddler, almost 4K return. Um, but then you also get $20 worth of vouchers um, to the Origins Market, mm -hmm. um, which we showed you, which was, yeah, just in town in Bustleton, and... Yeah, we thought that was, was, was really great, so... It's basically $20 gonna, off, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get coffee and something to eat anyway, so that, yeah. that, that worked out well for us. And there was no minimum spend at that Origins either. It was literally, like, just $20 cash to spend in there. There was no spend 50, get 20 off. It was, yeah, it was a good deal. Um, and then after that, we went to the caves. Milgley Caves, yep. Yeah. And that was, again, pretty pretty pricey, but, um, yeah, we thought it was, was worth it. It's $22. 50 per, per adult. Izzy yeah. is obviously free. She's free for everything at the moment, which is She's fantastic. Free. <laughs> That's another side benefit of doing this trip now. <laughs> but we definitely are glad we did the cave. The caves were incredible. That was so awesome. Um, and then we took her to a place called Wow Illusions, which we showed a little bit of, which had a mirror maze and just some cool um, mural 3D illusions. And illusions, as the name suggests. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really cool. It's a lot like if you've ever been to um, Puzzling World in Cardona in New Zealand. It's, he got his ideas, a lot of his ideas from there. So it's very similar to it. It's awesome. And that was... 12.50. 12.50 per person, which yeah. is actually pretty decent. Um, we had a really fun morning there. We spent quite a few hours there. Um, and then, yeah, the wineries went to um, Bass Felix, um, which is probably, there's still area for kids and kids are welcome, but that's probably more of an adult adult thing. Yeah, it's um, like a yeah. cozy, um, you know, couple, couples yeah. are cuddling up by the fire and with a blanket. And we were there with Izzy running around screaming, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruining, ruining their mood. But yeah, it's got that sort of, you know, dark moody vibe about it. Um, hello. Hi. <laughs> Um, there's also um, an art gallery in there and all the paintings are hung incredibly low so we saw another lady's toddler like touching a painting so wouldn't recommend that one no um, the wine um, was nice it's supposed to be one of the nicest it's um, the oldest vineyard in the area but we actually found it um, a bit light we were sort of after something we're, a not, bit we're not turning this into <laughs> like a wine connoisseur thing no. Channel. no but but we did want something a little a little more full-bodied which we got at Aravina <laughs> You like the full body. <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah. Aravina was awesome. As, as we mentioned, we've been there before and yeah. yeah, it's great for kids. The wine was amazing. The playground had the winery attached, which we've been over and over again. And wood-fired pizzas. Wood-fired pizzas. Incredible wood-fired pizzas. Quick, awesome, yeah, which makes it easy when you're traveling with kids and they don't have a long attention span. And Cheeky Monkey Brewing was, was cool as well. They had a fun playground and... Um, yeah, nice area to run around in too, so. And they have two tasting paddle options, um, but you are allowed to sort of mix and match them. And they, Wes didn't like it, but they had a really nice peach beer, which I loved. So I think give that one a try. Cool, so, and yeah. that's, our, that's our tips. That's and the wrap up of our trip. Thank you for watching. Bye.